I'm Christine Hiller, and I'm an interpretive naturalist for Minnesota State Parks and Trails at Jay Cook State Park. One of the fascinating features of the park are these jagged rocks that are tilted at sharp angles. It makes many of our visitors ask, why do the rocks look like this? These tilted rocks reveal a powerful force from our past. To understand better why the rocks look like this today, let's head back and understand what it looked like before the current landscape. Geologists tell us that two billion years ago, this part of Minnesota was covered by deep ocean water. Under the ocean, sand and mud would layer on the bottom. Eventually, these layers would become so thick and heavy that they would press together into sedimentary rocks. Specifically, the sand pressed into sandstone and the mud became shale. This sandstone and shale are no longer here. Let's head to another part of the park to take a closer look at what powerful forces changed them. Along the River Gorge, just downstream from the Thompson Dam, is a fantastic clue about that powerful force. If you take a closer look at our rocks, you might notice that some of them look bent, like an upside down U. This is called an anticline, and it may make you wonder, how do you bend a rock? The sandstone and shale formed in horizontal layers. At the time, the Earth's crust was moving around quite a bit. 1.8 billion years ago, some of these plates shifted. Parts of the layers were blocked from moving, so they folded upon themselves like an accordion. That anticline is one of the tops of these folds. The heat and pressure created from these shifting rocks changed them into something new. Let's head back and take a closer look at our tilted rocks again. The tilts now make sense, right? They're the ups and downs of those folds. You can still see the original horizontal layers that formed under the ocean. Heat and pressure changed the original sedimentary rocks into metamorphic rocks. Just like a butterfly that changes from a caterpillar into an adult, rocks that were one type that change into another are also called metamorphic. What we have here today are gray wacky and slate. The sandstone changed into gray wacky and the shale changed into slate. Together geologists call these tilted rocks the Thompson Formation. It's named for a nearby community. The park is at the southern end of this formation. It covers 500 square miles in three counties. It also goes down a half a mile under us. That's a lot of rock. This riverbed is not the only place you're going to see these rocks. The water just washes away the dirt here to reveal them. Let's head to another place where they are also exposed. This outcropping of the formation is right along the Willard Munger State Trail. You can also find them as you drive through Carleton into the park and behind our campgrounds. Historically, the rock was mined from nearby slate quarries located at outcroppings along the river. In the late 1800s, this slate was ground up and formed into bricks at the St. Louis River Brick and Slate Factory. Slate brick is much heavier than clay though, so it cost more to ship and it didn't make as much money. People have been using and visiting these rocks for quite a long time. 150 years ago, an American travel guide encouraged its readers to come visit the Dolls of the St. Louis River, see the spectacular rushing rapids and the strange tilted rock formations. And so they came. And of course, we're still coming to the Dolls or the rapids today to enjoy the beauty of these rocks. If you have a chance to visit in person, remember some safety tips. These rock angles are pretty steep and lead right into the river. Even at its slowest, the river has a pretty strong current, so it's best not to fall in. Slate also breaks off in rather sharp pieces, which can make for some rather nasty cuts. So just use common sense as you explore the river area. I hope you have enjoyed taking a closer look at our park's geology. Perhaps the next time you're walking across the swinging bridge, you'll think about those powerful forces of the past that shape these tilted rocks that the spectacular rapids rush over. <laughs>